for me, Berlin's an amazing city. It still is an amazing city. It's obviously been an amazing city since it was built. It's one of the last places that have, that's truly bohemian, I guess, in, in, in Europe. It's, it's a very free city and we, it has very relaxed sort of laws when it comes to nightclubbing. I guess that's what's drawn a lot of people here, is, is the, just the freedom that the city offers. Which I, that's why I love it here, yeah. So much of the great music that's come out of Berlin in the last 15, 20 years is all out of people's personal electronic music studios, you know. This is the Berlin stop of the Red Bull Music Academy World Tour. 10 dates, 10 different cities, each event in each of the cities tailor-made to that city or the music scene in that city, and so each event's completely unique. I have a very uh, fond memory of Hansa. I worked with many bands here, you know, with Depeche Mode, I made the three Berlin albums here. I made uh, records with Einstutz and Neubauten here. The really amazing phase for me with this studio was actually when I was here in the 80s and into the early 90s, when the downstairs was set up as a rock and roll room. It was mind-blowing for me, personally, to come into that big room which is where Bowie made Low and Heroes. I mean, it's like, like a bit of a cliché, but I was a huge fan of those records before I even really worked in the business. And to come into the space where those records were made was like going into church. There was a whole wave of us who started to see the recording studio itself as a musical instrument. And in the 40s and the 50s and even in the 60s to some extent, the recording studio was like a passive background thing that was there to capture the performance of instruments that were played in the studio. But gradually, the recording studio came to be seen as a musical instrument in its own right. It's great to be in Hansa. And if you need to record a big orchestra or a big rock band, you need a, a big space. But for me, that doesn't define the Berlin music sound anymore. The Berlin music sound is about the electronic music. I got the call from the guys to be involved in this event, so yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really it's a really good thing. For us, it's really interesting to play in this famous studios because I mean David Bowie and Iggy Pop and they all recorded here, and it's just interesting to see the place and feel uh, breathe the air of the creativity. <laughs> It's a, it's a great evening and um, I think it's such a historical place here in Berlin. Historical studios where so much happened. And it's great to see such uh, avant-gardist bands as Moritz von Oswald and Van Bauerfrick play here. It's a super lineup, also Brand Bauerfrick sind absolut die besten uh, Musiker gerade in der Stadt. Also ich glaube, die werden jetzt auch in Zukunft Deutschland repräsentieren, was Musik angeht.